Ever wonder what those cholesterol numbers in your blood test really mean? Well, by the end of this video, you'll learn what each cholesterol type is and when you should worry. If you're new here, I'm Dr. Maj, your YouTube primary care doctor. And we're her medical assistants. Make sure to subscribe for weekly useful and actionable health tips to care for you and your family. Here we go. If you have your last cholesterol test results, pull it out and let's review it together. Here's an example. Note that lab normal ranges will differ depending on where you have your blood drawn. Now, what many people initially notice is the total cholesterol. 200 is often the normal cutoff value here. However, I wouldn't get too excited if this number is elevated, especially if your other cholesterol values in the panel are at goal. The total is a reflection of all the various cholesterol types and takes into account your good cholesterol too. So if your good cholesterol is high, then this will drive up your total too. So for this reason, as a doctor, I don't really find the total cholesterol as valuable as its individual components. Now let's talk about the LDL value next, or the low density lipoprotein. This is the bad cholesterol that contributes to plaque formation in blood vessels, and the one that's been most linked to heart disease. For most people, the goal is less than 130. However, those with diabetes, heart disease, or chronic kidney disease, your doctor may be more aggressive in lowering it. Now statin medications, which you may have heard of, target LDL cholesterol specifically. Next is the HDL, or the high density lipoprotein. This is your good cholesterol that transports the bad cholesterol away from the blood vessels back to the liver. You want a higher HDL, not lower, preferably over 40. Exercise can actually increase it. However, I had a good discussion on whether or not too high of an HDL is actually harmful based on recent studies. So check out my video with Monica Reinigal, a dietitian who podcasts on the Quick and Dirty Tips Network. I'll place the link below in the description. And lastly, triglycerides, which are also bad. Normal is typically below 150. Now values over 400 have been associated with acute pancreatitis of all things and are more worrisome. Interestingly, something you may not be aware of, this is the only value in the entire cholesterol panel that will change if you're not fasting. Yep, alcohol, high carb consumption, and uncontrolled diabetes can increase triglycerides as can some genetic disorders. So if you have any of these risk factors or a history of elevated triglycerides, consider a blood draw after a 12 hour fast in order to obtain a more accurate value. Now, when do we treat cholesterol with a medication? Just because you have high cholesterol values doesn't mean that you need a drug to lower it. It all depends on your risk factors. Doctors actually use a formula called the Framingham score to determine your risk of developing heart disease in the next 10 years and whether or not a cholesterol lowering treatment is warranted. This formula takes into account your age, your sex, your risk factors for heart disease, like whether or not you have diabetes, hypertension, and you smoke. I'll place a link to one that you can use online down in the description uh, for you to determine what your personal score is. Now, my medical assistants would also like to shed light on this topic. So if we wanna keep our heart healthy, then we have to make sure that we eat apples. I like, like apples and broccoli and carrots and any kind of food like asparagus. Like they eat vegetarian. And they eat like couscous, which is really yummy. Do you guys eat tofu? Yes. yes. Tofu yes. is the best. It's 100% accepted. If you eat a lot of bad food, that you'll die. And there you have it, cholesterol in a nutshell. If you found it useful and or you'd like to see more videos like this in which I review how to interpret common labs, give it a like so that I know and consider subscribing to the channel and sharing it with someone else who may also find it useful. Well, thanks for tuning in. Stay heart healthy and I'll catch you next time. What else is good for our hearts? Um, um exercising. Good job. Water. And also, um, breath, which is oxygen, makes you alive. And if you don't breathe, if you were in space and you don't have um, no, oxi no, no, oxygen. no oxygen in space, then you might die. And then you will stay there and you'll be floating like, ah, ah, ah.